All right, hello everybody. <clears throat> hello, hello. Welcome everyone to today's gameplay stream. I am Darkside Phil, and it is the final day of March. It is March thirty first, twenty fifth. Twenty. I almost said twenty fifteen. <laughs> March thirty first, twenty sixteen. I'm apparently living a year in the past. A year ago at this time, I believe I was actually playing Bloodborne still. Yeah, I was. I was right in the middle of my Bloodborne playthrough. <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure that this is not 2015. But anyway, hello everyone and welcome to today's gameplay stream. Today we're going to be playing War Persona 3 FES. This was the Patron's Choice playthrough for the patrons who pledged in the month of January and then voted throughout February. FYI, just to get everyone uh, up to speed on what's going on with this game... I'm playing this today, and I'm going to be playing it one more major stream, meaning another, you know, main first stream, three and a half to four hours of gameplay, uh, before next week's new release. If you don't know, next week's new release is Quantum Break, which I've been looking forward to for many years. I mean, we knew about this game like two, three years ago, and I've been waiting a long time to play it. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to it. And, uh... Hopefully, it turns out to be a good one. Hopefully it does. An Xbox One exclusive. Uh, fingers crossed, right, that it ends up being good. So anyway, uh, yeah, since that's the new release for next week, and since next week I'm going to pick up with my coverage of Dark Souls 3 in a big way, uh, this game is going to go on hiatus. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, the month of April... At one point, it looked like it was going to be incredibly heavy for new releases. It did. It looked like there was going to be a ridiculous amount uh, of new stuff coming out. And that was going to take up a lot of time. And, uh, you know, it looked to me like uh, the month was going to be ridiculously jam-packed with stuff. Uh, honestly, it doesn't look so much like that anymore. Alright? It looks like the month is actually starting to loosen up a little bit. And if that is the case, then that means that I may be playing more Persona 3 in April. Originally, the plan was I was not going to play it at all in April, but I was going to put it on hiatus, and then it was going to come back in May, and it was going to be kind of the downtime game for May. But now that I'm looking at the calendar, okay, it actually looks to me like April is a lighter month, and May is going to be a heavy month. So let me explain here. In April, first week of April there, we've got Quantum Break. The second week of April, we've got Dark Souls 3, which, duh, I already have and I'm already playing. And also the new Ratchet and Clank. The third week of April, we've got Star Fox Zero. And guess what? Outside of those, there's really nothing else uh, looking at April. Now, not to say that I don't think that Dark Souls 3 will take up a lot of my time. I do think that's the case. I'm probably going to want to play some more Street Fighter V in there, maybe once a week, do a, a session to stay, you know, stay in the know on the game and everything. And in addition to that, uh, you know, there may be a few other things that I want to try out. For example, Pokémon Tournament, I haven't played all this week because I'm just so busy with everything else, but I may go back to it and, and start doing it again. Not to say that it'll be, like, full-time, but again, maybe, like, once a week, do a, a stream of something like that. Okay? So, that's kind of the deal for April. It's a slow month. So maybe that is a good month for me to, every once in a while, throw in a stream of Persona 3. So that's kind of the deal. I'll let you know more as we get closer and we see, you know, Quantum Break, what kind of a game that is, how long it is, and how I'm doing with Dark Souls 3. And as I'm juggling all the stuff, then I'll let you know how it's going and what else to look out for. Alright? <clears throat> but, for now the plan is play this today. And play this uh, Monday. So stream today of Persona 3. Monday a stream of Persona 3. And uh, that'll take us into April. And the new release is head first. Alright. So ladies and gentlemen. I thank you for being here. I hope you're caught up. Because I did play two streams of this already. About seven hours of gameplay. Hopefully you're caught up on that. And you watched it on demand on YouTube by now. If not. Obviously I think you should. You know, a lot of stuff there, story building and stuff, building up to what's going on in the game today. Today I'm looking forward to, you know, a lot more S-Links uh, S and getting stats up and probably going into the next part of the dungeon because I believe it's unlocked now. 
checking out the new part of the dungeon, hopefully getting new personas and fusions, etc. So it's going to be a fun stream. I'm looking forward to it. Now, what's going on with me? Well, got some good news, got some bad news. As always in life, right, you get, you get trade-offs. So let's talk a little bit. Let's get everyone up to speed on what exactly is uh, going on. So I guess we'll start. Let's start with the good news. Let's start with the good news because I think that people like to hear the good before the bad, right? You want to get, get pumped up before you get deflated rather than be deflated, deflated, deflated because then it would deflate the impact of the good news, I think. So here's the good news. From all things that I'm seeing, from all reports and data that I can see, the month of March was huge in regards to myself and my, my gameplay and my coverage of everything here on YouTube. You guys really liked it. You really enjoyed the month of March. Whether it was watching the live streams daily, whether it was uh, watching the on-demand videos, whether it was the increase in vlogging or the edited content, no matter what it was, Everything pretty much did really well in the month of March, so much so that this, by far, March was the best month so far of 2016. And if this pattern continues, if I can retain the level of performance that I had in March, okay, and keep that going during these months building up slower throughout the year, and I can then maintain that, and then once the end of the year hits, there's a huge increase in stuff like ad revenue and everything on YouTube. I think things may work out financially this year for me. And I may be able to continue to do this full time. Because, you know, this year is kind of the uncertain year. Trying to see by the end of 2016, is this viable to keep doing this full time as a business with all the changes and everything that have happened in the past year. So, right now, this month was great. And I want to say thank you to all of you. Because you guys right now who are here to see Persona 3, you're probably my core audience. You know what I mean? You're probably the people who come out to watch everything. Or you're the ones who come to watch the stuff that maybe isn't the super popular AAA release. And you are the reason why I'm still here. Quite honestly, you are. You're the core reason. And I really appreciate that. And especially a month like March where there was so much uncertainty. At first, March looked like it was going to be a slower month. Because it looked like there was nothing to do in the second half of the month. <clears throat> it ended up being quite the opposite with so much going on that was kind of surprises, right? that it was almost hard to keep up with everything. And basically, views are way up. And, you know, revenue is way up. Everything's way up this month. Compared to last month in particular. So, two thumbs up. Thank you very much. That's great news. And I'm hoping, please, can we maintain this? You know what I mean? If we can maintain this over these next few months, when, by the way, there's all these new releases, so that helps, right? If we can maintain this until the fall when the hardcore gaming season hits, I think we're going to be good. Good to go. <clears throat> so, thank you, thank you, thank you. Great news. Also, another piece of good news. Although this is in the very early stages, and there's no guarantee uh, about anything yet. Uh, I'm in. I'm in some. Let's not say ne not negotiations per se, but uh, there's a possibility that there will be some new stuff in regards to uh, sponsorship coming up. Now, I don't know how it's going to work. It's a brand new program, apparently, that's just launching in regards to people who live stream daily and, and sponsorship of the stream. I don't know how it works. I have no details on anything yet. All I was told is that there's basically some initial talks about potential sponsorship for people who stream, and I was contacted about it. Okay? Um, it could turn into nothing, but you know, I'm basically trying to find other avenues and other ways to make some, some revenue so that I can keep doing this as a job. And obviously, sponsorship is one of them. So perhaps in a month's time, you'll be watching the daily live stream brought to you by Mentos, the Fresh Maker. <laughs> or it could be, hey, it could be the, the amazing cleansing powers of Silson Blue. Who knows? Or maybe Subway. Subway, eat two-year-old fast or two-year-old processed meats. Subway. Who knows? I have no idea, but I'm basically I'm I'm, I'm in talks, and uh, I'll have more details hopefully in the near future. We'll see. Because the bottom line is this is the truth, everyone. The truth of the matter is my live streaming is fan service for you guys. Uh, I make almost nothing on live streaming. 
if you've noticed when you watch my live streams, there's like almost no advertisements whatsoever over the video. Like maybe when you start up the stream or you refresh the stream and ad might play, but that's it, right? Uh, so I basically make almost no profit on this. It's basically purely fan service. And, uh, you know, I, I do it as because live streaming is really kind of a cool way to interact and to have a different kind of connection with the viewer and to experience content. And, and you know, I don't follow the formula of most other people who live stream. I'm not constantly saying, oh, subs, and, and here's my PayPal link, and here's this and that, and send me money. You know, when I'm here, once I start gameplay, I'm here for the gameplay. <clears throat> that's what I'm all about, because that's what I'm doing. I'm playing the games to have fun and experience the game, not as a fundraising technique, all right? So that's kind of the deal. Um... But maybe that'll maybe I'll actually be able to get some kind of profitability off of, uh, you know, live streaming in the future. I don't know. We're gonna find out. I'll have more details for you. All right. So that's the good news. The good news is number one, the month of March, things were way up. Performance is good, and if we can keep that level all year, I think things are gonna be great, and we'll keep doing this full time. All right. Number two, possible sponsorship opportunities are coming up, and that's always a great thing. <clears throat> All right, now, unfortunately, we got to have the bad news, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I mean? We have to, we have to be real here. Um, the bad news is this. Today is the final day of March, final day of the month, which means as of right now, there's less than 12 hours left uh, of fundraising to pledge to my, my March Patreon uh, fundraising efforts and to hit the goal for the month. Unfortunately, I think we pretty much have zero chance of hitting the goal for the month. Now, I don't want to be a defeatist, and I certainly don't want to be negative or a pessimist, but I'm being real here. So, all the past week, it looked like we had hit the goal for the month, which was going to be, if we hit it, a Blizzard Marathon at the end of April, where patrons would vote on if you wanted to see me play World of Warcraft, or Hearthstone, or Heroes of the Storm, okay? Well, unfortunately, what happened was a few people did pledge this week, but a lot of people, I think it was like five, six people who had big pledges last month decreased their pledges last minute, which I knew was going to happen. It always happens. <clears throat> and what ended up happening was that it shows, it showed, excuse me, that we were above the funding level and then all of a sudden, boo, dropped by like a hundred bucks. And right now, like I said, unless we get a ton of people who run in and start pledging last minute with less than 12 hours left, it looks like, unfortunately, this is going to be the first month ever since I started with Patreon over a year that we're not going to hit the goal. All right. So this tells me a few things and I want to kind of very briefly go over them. Number one, it obviously tells me that I'm not doing a good job with the goals on Patreon because the bottom line is if it was a goal that people wanted to see, people would have pledged. Right. Um, and I agree. I think that, you know, I'm really having a hard time coming up with goals for Patreon at this point, because I've done a lot already. I've done marathons. I'm doing patrons choice already. Uh, you know, I'm doing things that I've done in the past that were successful, but you run out of ideas after a while. And I, I wish I could do something completely original and different, but I have no idea what that could be or how it could be within my means. You know what I mean? When you actually look at people who do Patreon and are very successful with it, the things that they set up for goals, 95% of the time, they're things that I'm already doing. Things that I've been doing since day one on YouTube. There are people who say, oh, if we hit a goal level this month, we'll do a Q&A show, and you can submit your questions and we'll answer them. I already do that. I already have asked the king, you know? Or they're like, oh, well, you know, if we hit this goal level, we'll do this kind of gameplay stream. It's like, but I do gameplay streams all the time. It's not like it's a, it's a thing that's outside of the realm of what I usually do. You know what I mean? And it's funny because, quite honestly, because I started on YouTube when I did, I, I basically, my methodology and my business strategy is to give you a ton of content all the time. And I think that's not what's successful on YouTube today. Today what's successful is we give you a snippet or a half an hour video every day, right? And you get hooked on it and you subscribe and then it gets super popular and then we can give you little tidbits of extras via Patreon later. But that's not what I've been. My business model is always, I give you everything. I give you Q&A shows, reviews, trying out products, playing games, streaming games, edited content, vlog. I do it all already, you know? So I'm kind of the jack of all trades. I've already been giving you all this stuff. So <clears throat> it's absolutely impossible for me 
to do it. To do to do better goals. I need your support. I need your help and support. I do. I need your help and support in that regard. I need you. To, I need to know from you feedback. And that's number two. That was actually the second half of what I was going to say. Uh, I need to take in your data, your feedback uh, more. I need to get more interaction from you because if I didn't appeal to you with a goal that I set up for this month, that means that I failed and I need to listen to you, what you want. All right? So, ladies and gentlemen, what I need from you is feedback. Please, on the kingofhate.com forums, or you can write me an email, darksidephil at hotmail.com. Please submit to me your ideas for Patreon goals. What kind of a goal would you like to see on Patreon? What do you think would motivate people to pledge to Patreon? Because at this point, you know, the marathons and patrons choice, what else can I do? I kind of shrug because I'm already bu- I'm already booked, you know? I'm booked. My time is booked. Tomorrow we're doing a marathon. Tomorrow, by the way, is going to be the Conquer's Bad Fur Day HD Conclusion Marathon stream. And that's going to be... <clears throat> that's actually going to be uh, the, the, the result of the February goal being hit on Patreon, right? So obviously that one was good because people pledged. They wanted to see the conclusion of Conquer. So that's good. But I need to know. I need feedback. That's the problem is I'm a one-man show. I don't have anyone working for me. I don't have anyone out there doing market feedback. I just have to listen on my own and try to figure stuff out. And it's very tough when I don't have any any help. You know what I mean? So I need your input on what would make Patreon more successful. What do you want to see as goals and stuff? You know what I mean? <clears throat> Ugh, excuse me. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. So unfortunately, that's the bad news. Good news, great month, you know, good performance. Things might go well this year, and we may have sponsorship. Who knows? Bad news is that unfortunately, it looks like, uh, you know, we're not going to hit the goal. Unless, like I said, there could be a miracle. There could be a miracle today where a bunch of people come in and say, oh, crap, the Blizzard Marathon's not going to happen. Oh, I didn't realize. Last minute, let's pledge. And a bunch of people pledge. But I realistically don't see that much. You know, I think we're we're a hundred dollars away or something like that i don't see that happening um and it is what it is you know (laughs) it is what it is it's reality but that's why i want your feedback that's why i want more uh kind of feedback and interaction from you i'd like to hear more from you on what you want to see all right so please either on the forums post it up on the forums or shoot me an email because i know some people they like to oh they're gonna type in the stream chat or whatever sorry you know that's not gonna help i'm not gonna be able to uh to check that out, or like Twitter too. People try to freaking do stuff on Twitter, and I don't always catch them all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I got distracted by Twitter. <laughs> well, my, now my laptop has locked up. Are you kidding? <sighs> I got distracted by Twitter, and now my laptop has locked up. Okay, it unlocked. There we go. Super thing. My laptop always has issues. My laptop is always slow. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get started with Persona 3, everyone. Um, Obviously, I don't need to tell you about Patreon. I just explained the whole situation. But if you would like to pledge, patreon.com forward slash dark side fill. You can still pledge if you pledge within the next 11 and a half hours. It will still count for March. Despite the fact that if we don't hit the monthly goal, you're still going to get your personal perks, which are things such as premium forum access, getting a custom title on the forums, text or verbal thank yous in my videos, getting your questions answered on Ask the King, or even getting a private Q&A video made. So please consider pledging. Patreon.com forward slash DarksideFill. Okay. What else? Well, if you also would like to help uh, with possibly, you know, keeping the, the business afloat, and helping me out to be successful and continue to be able to do this full-time. 
Uh, you could use the Amazon associate link in the description of all of my streams and videos when you shop on Amazon.com. All you gotta do is click it and go ahead and shop normally. Now, I just want to make this clear. Someone asked me, it's only good for the United States. Uh, unfortunately, the way Amazon works, if you want to have affiliates around the world, you have to create a new code for every damned country, which is ridiculous. I'd have to make a code for the UK and a code for France and a code for uh, Canada and a code for this. So, I can't, you know, I'm not going to have 100 codes uh, in the description. So, just this one code, that's for American viewers. Sorry to everyone else. I know you probably like to help, but uh, if you are international, I would say if you want to help, pledge to Patreon, okay? What else? Social media. I mean, namely Twitter. At they call me DSP. That's where I am on social media. Please check it out and follow me there for daily updates. Every day I post up a schedule of what's going to be coming the next day because things change all the time. I also share a lot of different thoughts about stuff going on with myself in my life in pop culture. <clears throat> I share pictures on Instagram. I also uh, talk about things that I'm watching like movies and television and stuff. So... Check it out, and if you are following me, me there on Twitter, and you like the tweets that I put out, please favorite and retweet them. Because the more social media reach that someone has, it actually benefits the business. That's the truth. So, please do. And then last but not least, check out my girlfriend's business, The Black Current, at Etsy.com, forward slash shop, forward slash The Black Current. That is uh, her handmade glycerin soap and wax tart melt business. And... It's been very successful. It's over a year old. She shipped hundreds of orders. She ships internationally. She recently reduced her shipping prices for domestic customers. She launched a spring line of product. It's great stuff. I'm looking forward to showering tonight with it. Kentish Rain is the soap that I'm going to be using. <laughs> so check it out. Etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash the black current spelled C-U-R-R-A-N-T. All right, that is it, everyone. I thank you very much for being here, being patient. Now it's time to start. Three and a half hours of Persona 3 gameplay. Thank you, thank you. And let's get the show on the road.